What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode with AV Investments. I can't help but every time I start a video, I'm always smiling and uh, it feels like I'm talking to you, all of you guys, uh, whoever's watching this video directly. Uh, but this is AB in general. So first and foremost, I would like to uh, thank the Lord Almighty for providing me and blessing me with another great day in his kingdom. And with that being said, I want to go ahead and address this whole ape thing that is happening, guys. There's a lot that is to be discovered. So many things. One thing I can tell you right off the bat right now is it looks like to me, AMC is going the same route the GME have went through. Remember when all the fucking, just about everybody, I'm not gonna say everyone, just about most people called, oh, GME dilution and split and whatever and all this stuff was one of the only ones that came in here and told you guys, and I laid out a whole live, and many people, they know who they are, they shilled against it, and called it FUD and whatever, and they called it, it didn't work, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's fine, you know, you are, you are shilled against until you're correct, I guess. GME did that split, as I laid out to you guys before, to turn up the heat under the shorts, Shorts will always be, do their thing. They're fighting for their survival. So they're always going to find a way to try to wiggle out of it. There's no such thing as I've said to you guys also many times before. And fact check me on the videos. Go and look. As I told you, please don't go about these plays, specifically short squeeze plays, with the mindset of what is the next catalyst and when is the next catalyst. If you already have your conviction, you've been in this, whatever, a year and a half, two years, over a year, whatever, and you have your conviction, we already know that there are so many floats that have been purchased over and over and over again. But people, the one, the people that say we need buying pressure and all this stuff, honestly, I don't know what is, uh, what is enough buying to ultimately have enough buying pressure. Um, again, I think you're not very in tune with everything that is happening and it's understandable the other side is very uh slick and slithery so they could get to your convictions they're not going to get to mine and hopefully not to yours as well to you to, to everyone else that is listening to this when these guys when gme did their split and this i'll show you how this ties up to amc when gme did that split without diluting and I specifically said, until now, no other person came out and say, to explain to you exactly what also happens to the shorts in the case of a freaking split and what they have to buy back. They're not buying back. As I said, if they were short 100 shares, when it's time to cover and they got forced, whether the brokers recalled their shares, whether the lenders recalled their shares, whether they received a margin call and couldn't meet the requirements when it's time to cover they have to cover the x amount multiplied by whatever that split so since gme did a four to one split the short was short 100 shares when it's time to cover they will have to cover 400 shares they're not just buying back the 100 they're covering 400 shares and if you comprehend what I'm exactly telling you right now, you will understand that this has nothing to do with no dilution because the bar got raised on the investor, the stockholder, and the short for everyone. So the dynamics, the value became larger, but the bases are still the same. Now, they have to cover 400 shares for that example I mentioned, 100 shares now split four to one, 400 that they have to buy back, but at what price? At the split price. The new price was 38. Well, guess what, guys? Everybody said that it did not work. Everybody said that that was dilution. Well, how come that when GME made this split right now, as we speak, it is higher than the price that is split from? So 38 bucks was the price that it got split to from 158. Right now, as we speak, is at $40. If dilution really did happen, 
you would have witnessed GME's prices at 15, 14, 11, 10 bucks. Some YouTubers came out and said, oh, okay, I'm selling my position so I can buy back at 26 or 28 or whatever because my technicals show that, uh, <laughs> uh, that that we're gonna go down and then that way I'll average down further helping the short theses uh, defeat the buy and hold mindset as I also always told you before this has always been about the buy and hold they want you to buy but when it comes to the hold they don't want that and this is the struggle that we've been fighting ever since pumps and dumps that happen all around us they trade perfectly. You want to do that? Go for it. I enticed everybody to do it. I freaking do it. But you got to know what it is, what that play is. That is not your ticket to a lottery. Uh, again, not financial advice, but you got to know what play is what play. So you can't compare any of these day trades to AMC or even GME or even any of the other meme stocks. Look at what BBBY did today. They will continue to fuck with us. They will continue to make it to you. What does it matter if the price is one freaking dollar or if it's 50, 80 dollars or a hundred? At the end of the day, what are you in this for? If you're in this for day trading opportunities, best of luck to you. Again, I'm not gonna sit here and say, you can't sell until this price or whatever. You sell at whatever level suits you and your loved ones and you buy at whatever suits you and your loved ones as well. And you hold to whatever suits you and your loved ones. I will never tell anyone you have to hold to a certain number or whatever and all that stuff. Neither will I ever tell somebody to what to invest their money in or what not to invest their money in. At the end of the day, there's financial advisors out there that could do it with license. And you could definitely feel free to go to that. At the end of the day, you choose what you want to listen to. And for me, I will continue to share my opinion. Now, as far as how this ties up to AMC... Well, when AMC does this ape dividend later on August 22nd, um, you're, we're event they're prepping us eventually for a split between the ape and it's going to have a value because that value is going to come from AMC's. It's a little different than GME as far as the dividend part, but the overall idea is the split. This helps AMC and it also helps you. Now you have an ape uh, stock and now you have an AMC stock. Yes, AMC would drop. I anticipate that it would drop in value. However, when you combine both, you're supposed to, you're gonna get the uh, overall similar equation. This is where it ties up to GME. When you, when you add all four that you got now, they're at that same value or in, in this case, even higher. So, what does this take us to? What would APE uh, do? Yes, it will help allocate and expose shorts similar to what GME because everybody was supposed to receive their stuff. Now, the ones that didn't receive their stuff, which I also anticipate a lot of people will not get their APE. What does that do? That turns up the heat again against the brokers. And it will, a lot of questions, a lot of people are going to bring the heat. What will that cause? We will come to we we will we'll find out when when we get to that point. As you can see with GME so far, this is amazing that is this happening with AMC right now. As far as with GME, you see what happened. It didn't do shit. It didn't it definitely didn't affect it to the downside. So for all those naysayers out there that are saying, "Oh, GME fucked themselves in the whatever and shot themselves in the foot and whatever," you don't understand the whole game and you don't understand what these boards are doing. I don't know what reddits you're reading and i don't know what other youtube videos you're watching but i will respect your opinions if i watch it if i hear it however i will continue to say mine so you want to hear it go for it i welcome all the shells to come through At the end of the day you choose who you want to listen to that being said much love ab investments